is the wheel, the world, the earth. So we're spinning around. That line there had me thinking like the wheel is the earth or something like that. And it, it's spinning and you can't do anything about it. We're, you were on this journey. Welcome back to another Deep Dive with Derek. I'm your host, Derek. But my friends, they call me Durock. Here with another Grateful Dead reaction. Uh, excited to get back onto this journey. If you want to jump right into the good stuff, I got the timestamps in the description below, so you can jump right in to the music if you want to. Uh, if you're new here, I'd like to personally welcome you to the channel. On this channel, among other things, I go through music that I I didn't uh, ever check out. Music that I should have checked out, uh, but for some reason I just I never got around to. Hence Grateful Dead. Another thing I do on this channel is I so I take a deep dive into artists that I I never got to learn. I also take a deep dive into deep lyrics, uh, looking at lyrics through the lens of meaning and valued living, a lot of philosophy, a lot of resilience, mindset work, basically taking a deep dive into deep songs. And a lot of the dead, I'm told, does both of those. So not only do I get to listen to some seriously good jams, some seriously good music, but uh, for a lot of these songs, I'm told there's a lot of good deep meaning to some of the lyrics. So I'm here to check that out. All right. I don't monetize these videos. So if you want to support the channel, you don't have to. But if you want to, you might see a thanks button down below. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. If it is there, think of that like a tip jar. Uh, if you want to support the channel that way. If it's not there, you can support me other ways. You can buy me a beer. You can support me with micro donations. Those are available. Those links are in the description if you want to support the channel. Again, you don't have to. Happy to have you here anyways. If you've been here before, welcome back. Certainly glad you could be here. In either case, give this a thumbs up if this is something that you like. And always looking for more videos to check out. So let me know in the comments what I should go check out next. So today I have The Wheel. The Wheel from Chicago. This is in June 29th, it's my anniversary, but 1976, so I wasn't quite born yet. So let's check it out. I got The Wheel from Chicago in 1996, or 1996. It's all just been so chill. The three songs that I've listened to so far. People were singing that. The wheel, so I didn't catch all those words. That was hard to hear. The wheel is turning, you can't slow down. Um, I want to check that out again. Like Jerry's voice came in at the end. It, it didn't seem like he was saying in the first part. So the wheel is turning. You can't slow down. You can't let go. You can't you can't stop it. So I'm getting sense that this is something that you can't control. So something happened. 
the wheel's in motion, and you can't do anything about it. And they said so the lightning wheel. The lightning wheel, the thunder, something like that. I don't know what that means. The lightning will get you. But so far, it sounds like the, once the wheel starts turning, you can't do anything about it. It's out of your control. Keep trying, keep trying. It's not gonna work though. To get back to where you belong. I wonder what that has to do or what that's about. Go back to where you belong. Keep on trying, right? You just try, maybe if you try a little harder, maybe it'll work then. Keep to get back to where you belong. If the thunder doesn't get you, the lightning will. What does that mean, get you? But still, yeah, so I'm really picking up vibes of... Uh, you can't do anything about this. I can't figure what, what the thunder and the lightning are. Metaphor is for, maybe it's not even metaphor. But once the wheel starts turning, you it's out of your control, right? So there's this idea... A lot of stoicism talks about this, but you see this everywhere. Focus really on what you can control and let go of things that you can't control. That's the serenity prayer for the, the Christian types. That's easier said than done. And this is this is interesting. So th this really happens. We humans are very uncomfortable with uncertainty. We, do, we hate not knowing what's going to happen in the future. Because at some point, when we look forward into the future, we say our own mortality. And that scares the shit out of us. That's called terror management theory. But we're so uncomfortable with uncertainty and letting go of things that we don't have control over that we spin our wheels and try to control the uncontrollable. In, in the world of investing, which I have a lot of experience with, you see people constantly trying to tinker with their, their investments. Because at least that gives me the illusion of control. Or if it's some kind of uh, a physical ailment. I might try to do things hoping that that helps. Trying to control the uncontrollable is a major source of negative emotion for people. But that's natural. And that's what I'm really picking up vibes like of that in this song. If I Okay, so the thunder doesn't get you the lightning wheel. Is there any at all? Am I reaching? Is there a tie in to the lightning bolt in this skull's head? Is that is there anything related there? Still haven't figured out what the uh what the lightning bolt is inside this guy's brain. Maybe uh like it's electrifying your head, this kind of music is. Anyway, the lightning will get you. I'm looking at a lightning bolt inside of a head. Ground. Bound to cover just a little more ground. The 
in a second. I want to hear that that bit again. Is the wheel, the world, the earth? So we're spinning around in circles and we're also spinning around a star and we can't stop that, we can't control that and we're covering more ground. That might be another H, but that, that, that line there had me thinking like the wheel is the earth or something like that. And it, it's spinning and you can't do anything about it. We're, you were on this journey. Try to control it. This has a way of like inducing a trance or like if you, I'll speak for myself. I just get like, I forget that I'm listening to music and I'm just flo floating about in space kind of. Which incidentally, and this is just stupid. That is what we're doing. And maybe that's the tie into the song. <laughs> If this wheel is the earth and I'm spinning around and I'm flying around a star, then I am floating around in space. And the music makes me feel like I'm floating around in space. <laughs> I'm, I'm reaching for grasping for straws here. Like there's gonna be a change this is this is so crazy like if i just came into that spot say on one of my serious xm <laughs> trial periods and i went to the grateful dead channel and i came in there and this is part of what my hesitation like i would try to listen to the grateful dead station and i'd come in because these songs are so long i would come in and say what's going on i can't handle this <laughs> i'd change the channel so if I came in there, it would sound like there's so much going on. But but the way that they led me to that spot, listening 
and actual listening, not just hearing it, but listening to it and building up to that, it, it didn't even feel like it was a bunch of instruments. It just felt like it was music, like one entity. <laughs> like it didn't sound like drums and guitars and bass and keys, and it, it just sounded like music. Let's see where this goes now. Getting quicker. I have to pause this. Sorry for these pauses, but it's it's ironic. But I'm two for two now in getting my Grateful Dead videos blocked for copyright violations, which is super ironic because this was the first band to to say, "Yeah, I don't care. Take my show, spread it around. Who cares?" Uh, and that being said, a, a new person coming in trying to listen and learn and take a journey with existing fans. They say, no, that's not okay. We're going to block that. They eventually release it. It just takes takes a while. So anyway, the re reason for these blocks is, or these pauses is one, to gather my thoughts, I suppose. But two, to give shorter clips to run through this um, algorithm that tends to block the videos. <laughs> Quieting down a little. That bass is so prominent. It's... Thank you. 
I only hear one drum. But that doesn't necessarily mean there's only one drummer. 1976, is that the period where they only had one drummer? Or are there two, and I'm just not, my ear's not trained well enough to hear them both. Both possible. <laughs> Oh, I do hear some percussion in the background and then some drums. Okay, so they're just slowly dropping it. Okay, real question. When it fades like that towards the end, I know how they do that on albums. That's that's easy. You just that's an effect. When they do it live, are they also doing it with the effect? Is the person at the, the soundboard fading them out? Or are they actually lowering the, the sound? I, I've never known that. <laughs> anyway, I like that one a lot. I, I think that one was... Well, I don't know. My guess, when I heard it, is it kind of felt like a, a meditation on or a song about you're on this journey, you're on this, we're all in this world together. You can't do anything about it. You might try, but there's nothing you can do about it except enjoy the journey, enjoy the trip. So I could be wrong. I probably am, but I'm happy to be wrong. So let me know what you think of the song. Let me know what other songs I should check out. And uh, I'm excited to continue this Grateful Dead journey. So I will see you here next time.